Imagine finding joy in rolling a boulder up a hill only to watch it roll back down and then doing it all over again. This might sound absurd, but for Albert Camus, this is part of where true happiness lies. His philosophy offers practical wisdom on how to be present and find meaning in life's everyday moments. Let's look into four principles from Camus' work that can help us live more mindfully and purposefully. Camus introduces the idea of the absurd and the myth of Sisyphus. He argues that life is inherently meaningless, but that doesn't mean we should despair. Instead, we should embrace this absurdity and find joy in the struggle itself. As Camus says, the struggle itself toward the heights is enough to fill a man's heart. One must imagine Sisyphus happy. Psychologists agree that accepting life's uncertainties can improve our mental health. Dr. John Kabat-Zinn, a forerunner in mindfulness, emphasizes acceptance as a core component of mindfulness practice. Acknowledging the absurd and living in the moment can reduce anxiety and increase our overall well-being. Critics like John Cruikshank view Camus' absurdism as a call to live fully in the present. They interpret his philosophy as encouraging us to make the most of our lives, regardless of their inherent lack of meaning. This perspective can be empowering, motivating us to appreciate each moment for what it is. In The Rebel, Camus advocates for living with passion and intensity. He believes that true happiness comes from aligning our lives with our deepest values and desires. But what is happiness except the simple harmony between a man and the life he leads? This idea reflects the concept of flow in positive psychology. This guy describes flow as a state of complete immersion in an activity where time seems to fly by. And when we engage in activities that we are passionate about, we experience this state of flow leading to greater satisfaction and fulfillment. Susan Sontag, in her essay, The Artist as Exemplary Sufferer, highlights how Camus' call for passionate living can inspire us to pursue our passions fearlessly. And by doing so, we not only enhance our own lives, but also contribute positively to the world around us. Camus emphasizes the importance of solidarity and human connection, especially in the plague. He suggests that in times of crisis, people come together, rising above their individual concerns to support one another. What's true of all the evils in the world is true of plague as well. It helps men to rise above themselves. Now, social connections are vital for our mental health. Dr. Julianne Holt Lundstad's research shows that strong social relationships can increase longevity and improve overall health. And by practicing solidarity and fostering connections, we create a supportive network that enhances our sense of presence and belonging. In Camus and the Political Realm, Peter Dunwoodle discusses how Camus' emphasis on solidarity can help us find meaning and purpose. By connecting with others, we can overcome the isolation that often accompanies modern life, leading to a more present and engaged existence. Camus' views on mortality suggest that accepting death can lead to a fuller presence in life. In A Happy Death, he writes, To feel one's life, one's revolt, one's freedom, and to the maximum is living, and to the maximum. By acknowledging our mortality, we are reminded to make the most of our limited time. And existential psychology explores the impact of death anxiety on our lives. In existential psychotherapy, Irvin D. Yalom, he argues that confronting our fear of death can lead to a more meaningful and present life. And by accepting death as a natural part of existence, we can focus on living fully in the present moment. And Edward J. Hughes, in writing the absurd Albert Camus and the Literature of Revolt, interprets Camus' acceptance of death as a cornerstone of his philosophy. This acceptance encourages us to live authentically, appreciating each day as a precious opportunity. Albert Camus' four principles, embracing the absurd, living with passion, practicing solidarity, and accepting death, offer some valuable insights into being present. And if we integrate these principles into our daily lives, maybe we can find greater joy, connection, and meaning. So let's take a page from Camus' book, or books, and strive to live more mindfully and passionately, appreciating the present moment for all it has to offer. Just like Sisyphus, we can find happiness in our everyday struggles. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. We're on a mission for 1,000 subscribers. and. This might be the one to watch next.